In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the camshaft position sensor on this Ram 1500. This is in the 3.6 liter V6 engine. Let's get into it. We're gonna disconnect the negative side, use a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen up this nut right here, and grab the terminal. Slide it up and out of the way. Using a eight millimeter socket, we're gonna loosen up this worm clamp. Take the snorkel off the air box, slide that off. Disconnect this connector right here, just push down on the tab, it slides off. Using a eight millimeter socket, loosen up this worm clamp. Disconnect this hose right here. Just want to push down on the tab and slide it out. You can see right underneath when you push that, the two ears separate. That will slide off. Just grab the snorkel, just slide up over there. There's a grommet and there's another one in the back here. Just pull up and we'll pull forward. It slides right off. Now I'll just pull this rubber coupler off. Put that on the intake. Just take this connector, use a pick or a screwdriver, just slide the little lock back, push up, disconnect it. See there's a wire retainer right here. I'm gonna pop that down. You can use a trim tool. Just pop that down. Connected. And there's another, there's another retainer right here. Just pop that off the bracket. And one more right there. Just pop those off just to get some more room. Disconnect this hose right here. I'm just gonna use the trim tool just to pry it back. Just right there. Disconnect the throttle body. I'm just gonna use the trim tool or a pick. Just slide this little connector back, lock, and then push down. Disconnect that, then the retainer right there. Just use the trim tool, pop that off. Using a 10 millimeter socket, take these two nuts off. These two hoses, I'm just gonna use a pick, get under the hose, just loosen it up. Twist those off, same on this one. Just get under it, loosen it up, and pull that off, and pull it out of the brackets right there. And solenoid, just lift that up out of the way. Just slide those hoses back a little bit. Should be fine. I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, take these two nuts off in the back here. They're loose, I'm just gonna do it by hand. Just be careful, don't drop the nuts. There's a bracket right here with two bolts in it. You wanna take those out, use a 10 millimeter socket. And there's a retainer in the back there. We're just gonna pop that off. Just using a trim tool, just get underneath. I'll just pop this off. Now I'll take these bolts out on the top and on the bottom of the intake, use an eight millimeter socket.
all of those. Just make sure those are all loose. They are caged, so they're just gonna stay with the intake and slide up. And we're gonna pull the intake towards the passenger side. Just slide it out. Just grab this foam piece and just pull it up and out of the way. Disconnect the connector. I just have a pick. Just slide back on the lock. And then you can push the button down and just push the lock back and disconnect the connector. Using a T30 socket, loosen up the bolt. Bolt's right on the front of the sensor. It's not going to come out completely, but you just want to make sure that's loose. All right, that's loose. Grab the sensor, rock it up, and it slides right out. Take the new sensor, slide it in place, get that started. Just push it down a little bit, so you can get the bolt started. Push it down. It's tight. And you want to torque that to 80 inch pounds. That's good. Take the connector, line it up, lock it down, and push the lock forward. And if you're replacing the right hand side or the passenger side sensor, you don't have to remove all the intake. You it's a lot easier to just do that, but the procedure is going to be the same as the left side. Now take this insulation, slide that in place. Just take the upper plenum and just wipe this off just with a rag. You can use a little brake parts cleaner if it's real dirty. This one's not too bad. All right, that's good. Flip it over, all the bolts are still in it, so that's good. Slide this in place. And you want to get the studs in on the brackets. There's this bracket here and the bracket in the back. And get all the bolts started. Now we're going to torque these to 89 inch pounds. We're going to start in the back. That's number one. This is number two. Number three. Number four is further back. This is number four. And 
number five. Number six. And number seven. Now we're going to put the nuts on this bracket right here. If it seems like this bracket is pushed out, you may have to loosen the bolts down below. This one looks fine. Put the two nuts on. There and there. Tighten those down. The two nuts for the bracket in the back. Get those on. And snug those down. Just snug. Now connect the hose over here and the wiring harness. I'm going to push the push pins through. Just where those go. You can connect the connector over here. Lock that down. connector underneath the throttle body. Push that in place, lock that down. And push that retainer. And any other hold downs, push those in. That looks good. I'll take this bracket with the connector, get those two bolts started. Push the retainer in place. That's good. Snug those down. Now take this hose, line this up. It's going to go in the intake right there. Slide that in the brackets. the hose with the valve. Make sure that's plugged in. Slide that in place. That'll go over that hose. And plug this in right here. Uh, take the snorkel, and this this piece came off before, so I'm just going to slide this over. Slide it. Slide it over the throttle body. It's lined up up top. And push it down. That's lined up good. There we go. Tighten down the worm plant. Snug that up. Take this connector. Lock that down. 
Take the hose in the back, lock that down. Slide the snorkel over the air box. And we'll tighten this one down. Snug that down. Now connect the negative terminal. Slide that in place. Make sure it's all the way down. Tighten it up with the wrench. Make sure it's snug. Just give it a wiggle and that's tight. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.